my channel. Firstly, I'd like to thank all my subscribers and I would like to thank everyone else who watches all my videos. So today is just a little quick book folding tutorial. You're going to need a book that's around 400 odd pages. That should give you about 200 folds. And we're going to make another vase. It's a different, this is a book folding vase rather than a cut out one. So you just start at the beginning of your book. We're going to tear the, the cover off the spine in the back. But first of all, we'll just start folding. Okay, so to do this book fold, it's only two folds that you need to use for this, this vase. So the first one, you're going to fold it up to the spine and make a triangle like this. And then you're going to take this corner here and you're going to fold it up like a cone. Just fold it up into the spine like this. Now this part here, fold it over your page and then tuck it in. Tuck it in here like this. So you've got a nice flat top to your vase. The next one, take from the top and bring it down to the spine. Make your triangle this way. And then take this corner and fold it up in line with this line here. So just fold it in line with that. Just crease it down. And then take this point and fold it up to this little corner of this part here. Now this should keep your vase all nice and even. And then just turn that over. And then you go back to the first fold. So you're folding from the bottom into the spine. And then make your cone Like that, fold it over it down at the top just to give it a crease and then tuck it in. So you're tucking it in here. You're tucking it inside here. It's not going behind there. And then tuck it in. And your next fold, you fold from the top. Down to the bottom, from the top, down to here, then take this corner and fold it up to this line and then fold your point over to this, this corner here, just where this little corner meets this part here. And then that's what it's going to look like. So that gives you your shape. So there's your top of your face. And then there's your little part in. And down. And that's it. It's just two simple folds. So I'm going to continue folding up some of these pages. So this is our book fold all finished. Now all you have to do is really persevere when you get to the end of your book because the front of your book is going to curl in a lot quicker than the back where you've just finished folding. So you need to fold in as much as you can. Just keep 
doing the best you can to get it into that spine. And then with this one, I don't need to glue it because it's actually really quite tight. But if yours is quite slack, then just put some hot glue in and then just glue it closed. And then all you need to do is just flip it all up the best you can. If you just keep fiddling around with it like this, it's going to close that gap up like that. So there we go. This is base number two. So all I need to do is put some flowers down in the top. You can cover the top with it as well. And then that's it. And that's your base. So that's a base all done. And the more you fluff it up, the more all these parts will all just come in together. Now all you have to do is pop some flowers on the top and I'll show you that at the end. Now I'd like to thank everyone for watching. I'd also like to thank everyone who's been subscribing to my channel as always. I always like to thank all my subscribers who take that few extra minutes just to either open a Google account to subscribe or if they have one already then to subscribe to my channel. I really, really do appreciate it. And also to all the people who take time just to watch the videos. I do hope that they're helping some people make some crafting items or if it's a crafting thing that you haven't tried before, uh, I really do hope that it helps someone to learn a new type of craft. Also, I'd like to invite everyone to come and join me in my Facebook with my sister Sandra and my family and friends on our Crafty Twints Facebook page. I'll put the link down in the bottom, it'll run along the bottom like it normally does and you can join me there. So until then, happy crafting everyone, give us a little chop, give it a little shot and then the next tutorial I'm going to show you how to do another vase. It's slightly different, it's got a nice straight edge here and a nice flat platform like this on the top. So please join me for that and I'll see you all again for the next tutorial. Goodbye.